in this uh, video we will look at the various secretions that play an important role in the small intestine there are four different sources of secretions in the small intestine the first one are the gastric secretions that enter the small intestine uh, from the stomach uh, through the pyloric valve those were the secretions that occurred in the gastric region and they play a role in the food digestion in the beginning part of the duodenum the second source are the pancreatic secretions as we saw in the video of the pancreas that pancreas is an important gland that produces many uh, enzymes and those secretions are conveyed through the pancreatic duct and they enter the duodenum uh, through the uh, papilla of waiter the third source for the secretions are those that are produced in the liver those secretions are in the bile that comes from the liver and also released from the gallbladder that contains the concentrated bile the bile travels through the common bile duct and also connects with the pancreatic duct to release the secretions in the duodenum through the papilla of waiter the fourth source are the secretions from the intestinal mucosa itself however these secretions are usually quite small in amount uh, just a few milliliters per hour these secretions are produced by the bruner glands that are present in the duodenum and they produce mucus inorganic salts containing bicarbonates water and enzymes pancreas is a major source of uh, secretions that enter the duodenum uh, pancreas produces anywhere from one to two and a half liters of pancreatic juice every day uh, for an adult and the pancreatic juice contains water bicarbonate ions and enzymes the bicarbonate ions are critical in neutralizing the acidity of the chyme entering the duodenum uh, from the stomach now in terms of enzymes there is pancreatic amylase although uh, carbohydrate digestion begins in the mouth where carbohydrates are exposed to salivary enzymes the pancreatic amylase continues that digestion process breaking down the starch molecules into maltose in the duodenum the pancreatic amylase is active at a neutral to alkaline ph second we have pancreatic lipase this enzyme breaks down the triglycerides into fatty acids and uh, glycerol in uh, terms of its activity the pancreatic lipase acts on the emulsified fat droplets those uh, emulsified small droplets are created by the action of bile mixing with the chyme and for its uh, activity it needs uh, small amounts of a protein coenzyme which is also produced in the pancreas uh, called colipase pancreatic juice also contains pancreatic proteases and they include trypsin uh, chymotrypsin carboxypeptidase and elastase the uh, trypsin is uh, secreted as a trypsinogen which is an inactive form uh, so that when it enters the uh, duodenum uh, it does not harm the mucosal cells the enteropeptidase produced in the duodenum and jejunum helps convert the trypsinogen into trypsin that then acts on the chyme trypsin also catalyzes other inactive enzymes such as chymotrypsin uh, carboxypeptidase and elastase into active forms the carboxypeptidase is an exopeptidase and we can see the action of these uh, different enzymes if if you look at a long 
chain of amino acids, uh, which we call peptides. Uh, so here we have this chain, and uh, this chain is broken down by the exopeptidase and endopeptidase. The exopeptidase act only to break the end amino acids, whereas the endopeptidase breaks down the chain in the middle to make smaller chains of peptides. The peptides are mainly digested in jejunum and ileum. Pancreatic juice also contains nucleases and their purpose is to break down the DNA and RNA present in the food. So there is uh, DNAs and RNAs. The DNAs helps to digest the deoxyribonucleic acid, that is the DNA, and the RNAs uh, helps to digest ribonucleic acid, the RNA, into their respective nucleotides. The uh, third source of uh, secretions in the small intestine is the liver, is in the form of bile. Uh, 600 milliliter of bile is released into the duodenum for an adult. Bile is uh, released into the bile duct due to the contraction of the gallbladder that is uh, activated by a hormone called CCK that we will review later in the video. The bile contains water, it has cholesterol, uh, also bile salts, phospholipids, and uh, pigments. The bile salts include sodium torocholate and sodium glycocholate, and their function is to decrease the surface tension of the large fat globules. In other words, the bile salts help to emulsify the fat and create small size fat droplets. As we noted before, when we were looking at the activity of the pancreas lipase, that for its action, it needs small size fat droplets. So the bile salts are helpful in creating those small size fat droplets. The secretions within the small intestine produce various hormones that play an important role in the digestion process. We will look at some of those hormones in this video. The first one is uh, secretin. Secretin is produced in the duodenum and the jejunum. Uh, secretin helps to stimulate the production of bicarbonate ions in the pancreas, which then help to neutralize the acidic chyme entering the duodenum. The second hormone is the cholecystokinin, also called CCK. CCK has uh, many functions in the food digestion process. It helps to stimulate the contraction of the smooth wall of the gallbladder uh, to release bile, as we noted before in this uh, video. It also helps to relax the sphincter of Odi to release bile and pancreatic juice into the duodenum. This hormone increases the activity of Brunner's glands in the duodenum to increase the secretion of the bicarbonate ions. CCK stimulates the production of enzymes in, uh, in the pancreas, and also it increases the satiety by reducing hunger. Another hormone produced in the small intestine is the gastric inhibitory polypeptide. Uh, this uh, hormone is synthesized in the duodenum and jejunum. And as the name suggests, it plays a role in inhibition of gastric secretions. This enzyme also stimulates the release of insulin in the pancreas. So in summary, we have seen the various types of secretions that take place in the small intestine. Some secretions that are produced in the liver and the pancreas that enter the duodenum and also some of the hormones that are produced in the small intestine 
and influence the digestion process.